Okay, so in this video, we're going to check out how to set up the Filmic Pro app. Um, so first of all, we've got to go to the App Store, type in Filmic Pro right there, and you're going to see this page. Um, incidentally, LumaFusion is an app we're going to talk about much later in the editing portion. Uh, it's a fantastic editor for mobile, and um, you'll see how powerful it is then. So here's Filmic Pro right here, and there's a bunch of other things, but if you scroll down a little bit too, I would like you to download Filmic Remote at the same time, uh, because we're gonna go into that in a later video. So download Filmic Pro right there, and then once you're done, we're gonna open Filmic Pro up, and there it is. And our guy for this tutorial series is gonna be Commodus from Gladiator. Um, I wanted Maximus, but they only had Commodus, so He's our guy, I guess. He's kind of a dirty rat, um, but he's lots of fun too. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is the Filmic Pro interface. I'm on the iPad Pro right now. Um, it looks a little bit different on the iPhone uh, and, and only really with the iPhone uh, 10 uh, and, and above where you'll see audio bars, audio meters on the right hand side. And I'll actually show that in another video as well. Um, so once you're in here, then you just really need to set things up um, and you would go into the gear icon here. And this is where we're going to start to really set up uh, what your resolution is and things like that. So we're going to tap on the resolution once uh, because this is an iPad Pro. I can go from 1080 all the way up to 4K. Now Filmic Extreme, they have different, uh, like here's the Apple standard. As you go up, you get higher quality. Um, if you have enough space on the device, I highly recommend using Filmic Extreme. It's, uh, to, to not, without being too technical, it helps you go from 50 megabits per second to 100 megabits per second uh, of video quality, which you can tell is a lot better. So uh, that's what you need to do there. And once we have that set up, now right now I've got it cropped to the one by one overlay, as you see the two little bars right there. Uh, but I'm just gonna go back to 16.9. I like to do one by one like that and then turn the overlay, crop source to overlay. So just incidentally, if you are shooting something and you wanted to do uh, just a square video, you can do that and Filmic Pro will crop that so that you only get that. What I like to do is to do in, uh, in 16 by nine, which is the full widescreen, of course, but I also tap on the one by one and I turn that uh, off so that it's going to it's giving me the one by one bars, but I can shoot um, the full screen. And what's, what I like about that is later on when I'm editing, um, I know that I've got the shot maybe in the middle that I need um, so that you, know, you can send it up to Instagram or whatever and I don't have to really do a lot of editing. That being said, uh, just a little side note, Adobe has come up with an amazing uh, add-on to their Premiere Pro line that does all of this for you so you don't have to really uh, do any of that stuff that I just showed you. It'll actually find the point of interest in your story and will keyframe it all over the place just so that uh, that stays in the story. But we'll look ahead into that later. Okay, so we've got this all set up. I'm at 4K, Filmic Extreme. Before you shoot into 4K, make sure that you have plenty of room on your iPad or iPhone because it does take up space. Okay, so now that we've got our resolution set up, in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about frame rates, so let's dig into that now. 